Hey guys, we recently hit 3000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much. It really means a lot to me to see people actually be interested in my content. And uh, yeah, I really wanted to make this video thanking you all. Don't worry though, I won't only be uploading my OC replays. I have a lot of projects in mind, such as a video on how easy it is to fake a live play, which I will probably upload in the near future. I thought it could be interesting to see a top player point of view on the subject, especially since I used to be a uh, to be accused of cheater in the OSU community for a while. But I've already said too much. I want to keep my project secret for now. Anyway, I've decided to take this opportunity to answer some of you guys' questions, and since some of them are really recurrent, may it be on Twitter, Reddit, or even OSU itself. So let's get started. Rosalie asks, what was your first ever goal to reach in OSU? I remember my first goal ever concerning OSU was to be in my country's top 50. But you know, once you reach a goal, you always find a harder one to accomplish, so so I didn't always have the same one in mind. I always try to progress and I think that's the most important thing when playing Osu. Meh asks, what's the best mechanical keys for playing Osu? I'm not the best person to answer this question, unfortunately, <laughs> as I've only tested two keyboards in my life. The first one being a shitty Microsoft keyboard <laughs> I've used throughout the first two years, so it was a membrane keyboard. Um, it was very good for accuracy though, as the keys were very hard to press. The second is my current one, which is a uh, CM Storm Quickfire with red switches. It's a really nice keyboard overall and the keys feel pretty good. If you're into speed over accuracy, I definitely recommend it. Xavi Tush asks, what's your own favorite score and why? Well, I think my favorite play is my 3 mod play on high tie. I mean, look at the speed of us fucking jumps! No, seriously though. It is obviously my uh, number one score on best friends with 3 mods, which is worth 720 pp. But it's not even because it's my top play actually, I just really like the score because it uh, it reminds me of all the retries I did on the map and it really shows that if you want to reach your goals, no matter what they are, you should never give up. <laughs> Kangxis asks, how do you feel about the monitor drama overall? I think you should always learn from your past mistakes and this is a major one. In fact, I still feel pretty awkward to talk about it even a year later. But I think it's always a good thing to bring that up in order to never do this or something like this again. I have definitely changed the things that recently happened in my life, helped me open my eyes on some aspect of life, and I feel like you should value honesty over anything else, really. Besides, I already tried everything I could to try to repair my mistake at best, such as giving my money to some small streamers to try to redeem myself. High Pigment asks, what's the worst thing someone has done to you over the monitor drama? And are people still arresting you? Well, since we're on the subject, I'll answer this question as well. The uh, worst thing someone told me was that they wishes that my family gets bombed by ISIS since a lot of terrorist attacks were hitting France at that time. But I mean, I tried not to pay any attention to these kind of sentences, which were unfortunately very recurrent. I'm not gonna tell any name though. And no, people stopped accusing me of cheer after I proved it through the uh, multiple live plays I posted on my YouTube channel. You can find them in my Life Place playlist. Dual Akira Osu asks, How much does 144 Hz help you for playing Osu? Well, it definitely feels a lot better to play with 144 Hz. Uh, it really helps you read high AR as you have much more time to react to the circles, but it isn't a necessity. In fact, I could perform very well on high AR even with 60 monitor, but if you have enough money to spend, definitely go for it. Millennium Osu asks, What other things do you enjoy to do besides Osu? I used to play a lot of Steam games with my big brother, such as Team Fortress 2, Life for It 2. But unfortunately, after he got into college and after I discovered Osu, we didn't have much time to play together again. Um, yeah, But I have plans of streaming with him on my Twitch channel in the near future, since we're actually pretty funny when we play together. So yeah, definitely go follow me on Twitch if you're interested to see us play. Super War asks, do you finally have a decent setup now? Currently, still a no. Uh, unfortunately, I have to stay at a hotel for some time because of family problems I'm currently dealing with. Here's my actual setup. I mean, it's okay, it's enough to play correctly, I guess, but it still feels very small. Leafy Sen asks, tits or ass? <laughs> um, unfortunately, toddlers have neighbor of us too. Luca Lumi asks, do you have any 2017 year goal? Uh, the only goal I can think of as of now is maybe try to set up a new top PP play. Um, if possible, close call 3 mods, which is definitely possible to do. Plate asks, are you <laughs> are you gay? Um, as long as it's a llama, I don't care if it's gender. 
Patch Boys asks, can you like force your brother to play Osu? Um, we will definitely do a live play of my brother trying out Osu soon as it could be very funny to watch him be confused and lost. But we will release it in a video of its own. Um, it could also be an opportunity for him to finally make a face reveal, who knows. Can I have mutual? Can I have mutual? Can I have mutual? Can I have mutual? To make it short, no, yes, yes, no. WS asks, I asked this a bit back, but are you going to try for sub button on Twitch soon or over summer maybe? Uh, once I get a proper apartment with decent internet, I'll be able to stream again and yeah, I would definitely look up to the sub button. Adam Pai asks, you know for your high AR reading skill, but how is your lower AR reading? Well, I'll let you see for yourself. I mean, it's pretty good. Uzuika asks, what is feels the Lama means? Well, first, that's not English. And second, it means son of a Lama, literally. I wanted to name myself fils de pute, which means son of a bitch in French, but it was already taken, so I decided to replace the pute by the first animal that crossed my mind, which <laughs> happened to be a Lama. Cubanesis asks, do your parents know that you are six at Osu? If yes, what's their reactions? Well, that's a funny question because my mom is actually proud of me because she thinks that Osu, or as she calls it, the sausage game because of the sliders, uh, helped me improve my English, which it does. But otherwise, she doesn't really follow my Osu-related activities. Real Mass asks, do you train a special way to get that far? Well, I don't think there is an ideal way to play the game if your goal is to get better. As long as you're determined enough to spend time on the game, playing, discovering new maps, testing out new playstyles maybe, that you find comfortable to play with, you're bound to become a good player. Uh, it's a lot about mental. Osu is not only a game in which you have to try hard to reach your goals, it's also a lot about how you deal with difficulties mentally. It's very complicated, but I'll probably explain it in a later video which will explain different ways in order to progress faster in Osu. Z asks, when you play AR11 maps, does your reading ability help you the most, or is it more your muscle memory? Also, how come that you do not use hidden a lot unless you're playing at R11? I would say it is both my reading ability and my muscle memory that play an important role when playing at R11. It's all about practice. I don't use hidden unless I'm playing at R11 because the brain doesn't like to have too much information at the same time, you know. When playing at R11 without hidden, there will be the, uh, the approach circle that appear as well as the circles. And as they close very rapidly, the brain sees that and it goes into a full panic mode and it, it takes more time to process each circle which results in the uh, player losing speed. I think any AR11 player can agree they feel the same way when playing. This isn't a problem though if you already know the map by heart, which is also why I FC'd best friend without hidden before FCing it with hidden. Well, I think I answered the most important questions there. Um, I'm sorry if your question wasn't featured in this video, but if you'd like me to do another Q&A, Make sure to let me know in the comments. It's always a good thing to know you can help new players. Once again, thank you guys so much for supporting me. It really means a lot. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. And as a great man once said, 